Well, thank you, Manisha. And this is just to prove that it takes three men to do the job <laughs> that one woman can do. <laughs> so we're here to talk about Sensorplex. Sensorplex is, a, is not a product company. We're an enabler. So we take care of the hardware for companies that design and market complete products. Hi, I'm Jens Peter. I'm the VP of Sales. Uh, Sensorplex was actually formed, is uh, located in Silicon Valley. It was formed by a number of individuals that had expertise in wireless sensors and computing. Our first product uh, was this uh, SP10BN, it's a 10 axis product, but we also have six, seven, and nine, and 10 uh, axis versions. <clears throat> uh, it's really, um, we offer an SDK, which is the SP1010. It comes with an adapter board that connects to a PC and runs a GUI software to set up all the settings on the, on the module itself. <clears throat> And um, it's really meant to be a technology platform because we realize that a number of customers may have different requirements. So we're very open to making changes to the module and working with customers on their own requirements. Uh, the module itself uh, was really optimized for power. So we kind of uh, picked and chose the right components. It uses the latest Invensense 9 axis device. Uh, that has a very good three-axis accelerometer, gyro, and an AKM8963 compass plus a Bosch sensor tech. So internally, we also use a CPU from Renesas, ultra-low power CPU that does, does all the motion fusion. And uh, the module itself can either log the data on the module or it can stream it uh, out via low energy Bluetooth. So uh, Kailash is going to give us a, a quick demonstration on this. <clears throat> you got it? So this is the application we have for the Windows. And then I have the module which Jens just showed you connected to the adapter board here. And the adapter board is connected to the laptop via the USB cable. So I have a couple of tabs here. I'll explain each one of them, and right now I'm in the data streaming tab. So here we have a couple of options. Uh, just for the demo purpose, I have selected accelerometer and the quaternion, and I have saved it with you know, interval of 10. So I'll start streaming the data. I'll have this view data button lit up with green. So, so you can see a graphical you know, representation of the data. We also have a 3D app for the Windows. It's called uh, Teapot, and it's from Invensys. So I can hook this up with that now. So you can see that the delay is almost nil. So in that case, the sensor is actually taking all the raw data from all the 10 axes and then doing motion fusion and then displaying it. So this was all about streaming and I can even data log it, but the memory on the you know, module is pretty less with this version, but we have the next version of the module coming up pretty shortly maybe at the end of quarter one in 2014, so which will be 32 megabytes, but the current version which I'm holding in hand will have 256 kilobytes, which is pretty much less. And then coming back to the Bluetooth master tab, so I can scan another module which is of the same type connected to a battery. So I hope everybody can see this one. So it's, uh, it's hooked up to a lithium ion battery here.
let me show it on the phone. So how do I get the phone thing? Okay, so we also have an iPhone app for the module. So it's a basic basic app and it doesn't have any, you know, really great GUI with graphs and other things to show, but it definitely does the job for us. So I'm connecting this module, which I'm having it in hand. It's the same module, but I'm wearing it just like Fitbit and other watches. So I'm at the left bottom, it says connected via Bluetooth. So it's connected via Bluetooth, BLE. Then I have four options here. I, uh, there's a small LED on the module, which we can toggle it. I don't know if you can see it. So it's right here. The color is changing inside. And then the main part would be the streaming of the data. So I press the streaming of the data. You can see that you know, the measurement is coming down. Well, I think maybe that we can leave the rest of the time for questions, if they are, because we have two minutes left. Yep. Yeah. But you get the idea. So this is a platform that allows our customers to do their own development on top of, the, of our hardware. Uh, and. Um, uh, it is fairly straightforward so that they can build their applications using just the APIs on top of our firmware. Questions? Sure. I can't hear you. So, sorry, sorry, can you speak louder, there? please? So, if you were to use a platform, you can essentially take the platform to do your field testing if you didn't want major changes to the platform. Uh, you can do your field testing fairly rapidly, decide what is the final configuration of your products, and then we can do a rev of the hardware, and the whole lead time, so you can go from start to product introduction in about nine months. Yes, normally it would take about twice that long if you were to do the hardware from scratch. Have you guys provided any algorithms for like the dollar, things like that? We have some basic algorithms. However, most of our customers want, so they see their differentiation in their crea creation of their own algorithms. But we have basic algorithms. Okay, so the oh. module is... Oh. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's a pretty small lithium ion battery. It's 3.7 volt. So it actually depends on the number of sensors switched on and how much of the LED we are using. So approximately with almost everything on, we can get up to you know, six to seven hours. But yeah, you know, in the next version, we will definitely increase it. So that's it. So we are right there. So you, can, you guys, anybody have any questions, we can come and meet there. Thank you so much.